Hello everyone, Bruce here with DIY Homestead Projects. This is Renogy's newest product on their battery line, and this is a 200 amp version of the Smart Lithium Phosphate Battery Pro version. I was pretty impressed with the 100 amp version that I did a review on not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, and I'm actually pretty excited about this 200 amp version. This battery comes with a seven year warranty. It is IP67 rated, so it can be used in wet or damp environments. The smart portion is Bluetooth, so you can access all the information about the battery on your Bluetooth app, the, the free Renogy DC homepage app, as well as any of the charge, discharge, overcurrent, warnings, and all those types of things can be all accessed on that app, which I'll show you a little bit about in the video as we go on through this. The box is supposed to be rated for fire resistant. So if something happens inside the battery, it keeps the fire from spreading to other items or components. The safety factor is pretty high on this battery. And it also has a lot of other safety features included. In my opinion, this is a, this is a premium top of the line battery. And it's pretty impressive from what I've seen so far. Just like the 100 amp hour version, it is equipped with these threaded inserts so you can attach some brackets or some mounts to this and then mount this solidly to the floor of your RV or your shed, whatever, wherever you're using it. And that keeps it in place so that you don't have to worry about it coming unsecured. Now this Pro Smart Lithium Iron Phosphate Battery comes with a pretty good instruction manual, some stickers for you, the e-card warranty information, as well as two sets of terminal bolts, one long set and one short set, depending on what you're actually connecting to the battery. So you have some options there and it's pretty versatile for connections. This battery is about 18 and a quarter inches long, eight and a half inches tall, or eight and a quarter tall and eight and a quarter deep. And it comes in at just about 50 pounds total for a 200 amp hour battery. So that's pretty impressive as well. Now Renogy is running a lot of sales on their, especially their new product line items right now. So I'll leave you some information, some links in the description so you can go check out and get, get all the detailed information on this particular battery. And Renogy also provided me with an exclusive promo code for this particular battery. I'll leave that in the description as well. And that coupon is going to be good for 10% off, I think up until the end of May. May 30th, I believe, is what, what the date was, expiration on that code. I think the battery is currently on sale for $960 or something like that US. And with the promo code, to save you about $100, you can pick it up for about $850 US. This battery is equipped with self-heating function as well as Bluetooth. So in a cold weather environment where you're below freezing, you can safely charge this battery without damaging it with the included self heaters. It's all tied into the, to the battery management system and it operates all on its own. There's nothing extra you have to add or connect or program or anything. It's just all automatic, which is, <laughs> the convenience is pretty remarkable. So we're gonna test that out along with the Bluetooth. We'll see how, how much range we can get out of that Bluetooth and we'll do a capacity test on this battery. So let's check it out and see how this battery performs. You can see where we're at right now. We're at 49.1%. Uh, Max capacity says 212.24 amp hours on a 200 amp hour advertised battery. Presently, it's about 50%, 104 amp hours at 13.2 volts. And all of the cells at the bottom of the page here are 3.3 volts. So perfectly balanced as usual, like all of the batteries that I've received from Renogy. battery monitor is calibrated for 200 amp hours. Then I've got a Renogy 3000 watt inverter charger here with a two outlet plug on it. I'm going to hook up these two fans and you can see right now the battery is at 100%, 212.24 amp hours. Present voltage is 13.4 on the voltage and we're 75 degrees Fahrenheit 
all cells are balanced at 3.3 volts. Oh, let's turn the inverter on, see what that's pulling. 1.3 amps and just stand by for that 3000 watt inverter. Turn on the first fan here and see what that gives us. Eight and a half amps now with the first fan. Let's turn the second fan on. Put both of these on high. Adjust that camera a little bit so you can actually see what's going on there. Sorry about that. So we're up to 14.3 amps. All right, I found a few more things to plug in. I just wanted to show you. I've got, I've got, this is crazy. I've got three fans plugged in and two video lights. I've got it up to uh, 27.3 amps discharge. So this will take about seven, eight hours. But let me show you the setup. I plugged in a power strip. So now I've got those two fans and a little tiny fan there on the floor, as well as two video lights to get it up to almost 30 amps, 27 point what, three. My uh, battery monitor is showing 27.17 on the discharge. We're at 196 amp hours on the battery off of the 200, 98.1%. Remember we started at 99.9, .9, I believe it was, and we started at uh, 200 amp hours, so we're down almost five. So we'll see you at about uh, seven hour mark or so, we'll have a look. So we're just a little over six hours into the discharge cycle on this 200 amp hour Smart Lithium Iron Phosphate Pro battery by Renogy. And let's just look at some of these numbers here. I've got the app open to the 200 amp hour battery. Remember it had 212 amp hours to start. Still showing that I have 29 and a half amp hours left. It's a 28 amps, it's what's being currently pulled out of the battery and has been for several hours now. 12.7 volts is what we're sitting at. Let's look at the meter here, 12.67, so that's pretty close. 27.6, that's being pulled out of the battery, discharge. Got 15.1 amp hours left in the battery, according to this meter. And we're showing 13.7% uh, left on the app, 29 amp hours. Remember, this one is uh, set to 200 amp hours. It thinks this is just a 200 amp hour battery. So it's gonna be off a little bit from what the app is showing because the app was showing 212 amp hours, whereas this is gauging off of 200 amp hours. So that's kind of interesting. I guess when I plug this one in for use with this meter, I need to put 212 amp hours so that the meter is more accurate because this one is showing 7.3%, whereas the app, which is more accurate in this case, is showing 13.5%. So we're getting about 7% more battery capacity than advertised for this particular 200 amp hour pro smart battery by Renogy. I'll come back we'll show you the app and the meter here once this battery completely shuts off. That's going to take about another hour or so. We'll come back and look at it after it's completed its discharge cycle. I didn't think I was going to be able to catch this moment on video but it looks like maybe I will. Here I'm at 0.5 percent on the Renogy app. There's the beeping just began and I'm supposing everything's just going to shut down here in a second. Three fans and two lights been on all day. Sorry about all the noise. But it's loud out here. Those fans go on. Inverters beeping at me. I'll be surprised if this battery comes back after this. We'll see if it'll charge. I hope so. 0.1 percent. There it is. Everything just shut down. Battery level 0%, 10.9 volts, 2.7 volts on each cell. So I'm going to get these fans all unplugged and everything shut down and we'll plug it into the wall and use the 3000 Renogy inverter charger to charge the battery and we'll see if it'll take a charge. All right, this battery does not even show up on the app anymore since it's depleted so far. So we'll go ahead and get it plugged in here and we'll see what happens after this discharge test so we can complete this capacity test and I got nothing. Well let me figure out what's going on here with this. Maybe I got a fuse or something went bad.
The problem is that battery is so dead, there is no power in it. This is a, one of their older 3000 watt charger inverter machines. And either I don't have it set up properly or it doesn't have the feature to revive a dead lithium ion battery. I'm not sure which because I, I just never run my batteries down this far. So my solution is I just have a 10 amp hour gel battery and I'm just going to jump her to the connectors on this uh, lithium smart battery just so that the inverter now knows that there is a 12 volt battery connected and then we'll see if we can get the uh, inverter to come on and I'm pretty certain that it will and as soon as it does and starts charging then I'm going to disconnect my little jumper battery here. This is just a 12 volt 10 amp hour battery. So we'll just clip it to the battery, pause it, make sure you get that correct. And then we'll turn this on and see if it'll come on. And it is. All right, so I'm gonna come over here, plug it into the AC outlet. All right, and then we'll disconnect this battery. Cause I don't want that on there when it's charging that lithium ion, it's a different chemistry. But it was just enough so that the charger inverter will recognize there's a battery connected. And now we're up and running. It looks like we're at 32 amps on the charge now. We're at 11.6 volts, 2.9 volts per cell, 0.1% in the battery now. So we'll let this charge. Hopefully these warnings go away. But we are charging at 32 amps. So we'll let this charge up and then we'll check our amp hour capacity. And we'll see if we can bring it back to full 100% and what the actual amp hours are it takes to do that. So after the battery was fully charged, you can see here up to 100% came right back to the 212.24 amp hours. So that, that still amazes me that this battery has an extra 12.24 amp hours in it over the advertised 200 amp hours. Came back to 13.5 volts and all the cells are sitting at 3.4 volts so it's perfectly balanced. Now I tried real hard to test the uh, temperature self-heating feature of this battery. I don't have a freezer big enough to put this battery into so I tried a bag of ice and then I added water to it. I don't have a cooler big enough to put this battery in either and I was not able to get this battery down to a temperature where the heaters would kick on. But I was able in my previous video when I reviewed the 100 amp hour version. That one I could fit in my freezer and so here's a little segment that I did to kind of let you know how the uh, cold temperature self-heating feature works on this battery. So it's at five degrees Fahrenheit, five and a half degrees on the battery. And I've got all the warnings showing once the battery receives some type of charge power, whether it's plugged into a charger or in this case, it'll be the solar panel, the 200 watt solar suitcase. If it's four amps or greater coming in, it should turn on the uh, heater. It's going to use that heater to heat up the cells to the point where they can actually receive a charge. And then we should see these warnings go away. So here's an interesting thing looking at the app again as we're getting 10 and a half amps showing on the charge controller. Part of that is actually being used to drive the uh, heat modules because the heat module is on and then we've got 6.7 amps are going into the battery. So about four amps or so, maybe a little more than that, it's uh, using to uh, run the heater modules. When the heaters turn off, I'll bring you back and we'll look at it and see what we've got going into the battery. The heater is turned off. It's got the battery temperature up to 50 degrees Fahrenheit and it just shut off. I just didn't catch it on the screen capture. Now we're getting 8.6 amps into the battery, 3.4 volts. The cells are staying perfectly balanced. They've came up uh, 0.2 volts and we're at 61.1%. Let's do a test on the Bluetooth on this battery. So here's our 200 amp hour. I've got it fully charged. I've got 212.24 amp hours in this 200 amp hour battery. <laughs> that's pretty cool so I'm just gonna walk down the side of my house here and we'll see when it disconnects the edge of my house is 60 feet and this is uh, just an open air test of course still have connectivity there it is down there 60 feet away let's go a little farther this is probably another 30 feet and it's still refreshing. 
So that's uh, that's pretty amazing. Let's set this down and disconnect. And then we'll see if we can reconnect at 60 feet. Of course, if you have this mounted in an RV or something, it's gonna deplete the distance a little bit, but this is awesome. Straight line of sight, 60 feet. And we still have connectivity to the app through the Bluetooth, so awesome. Can't beat that for Bluetooth. 60 feet away, I mean, that's plenty good for if you had this in an RV or something, you're sitting at the campfire, you wanna check your battery status, be able to pull that up on Bluetooth and check your battery. So that's my first impression or look at the new Renogy lithium iron phosphate battery, smart pro version, 200 amp hour. What do I think about the battery? I think it's a, so far I'm really impressed. I think for the price, if you can pick this up under this promo introductory price and use my 10% uh, off code that I'll link in the description below, I think you're gonna you're gonna have a pretty good battery for a pretty reasonable price. Now I, I agree it's expensive, but this is a premium product in my opinion. And if you compare a 200 amp hour self-heated Bluetooth battery with pricing wise with the other batteries on the market, I mean there's one brand out there you can't even get a 100 amp hour battery heated for the for the 850. You can pick this one up for if you use uh, this the intro price and the code, I, I think it's going to be a hard to beat battery. So far, I'm really impressed. I really like this version as well as the 100 amp hour version. Um, the form factor, the size, the handles, pretty slick and uh, convenient in my opinion. And I also really like the smart feature, which is the Bluetooth, being able to access all of the information on the battery through your uh, DC Home app. It's just going to be really hard to beat. Don't forget, I'll put links to the battery product in the description along with the promo code. If you click the link on the screen now, that'll take you to my review of the 100 amp hour version of the Lithium Iron Smart Pro Battery by Renogy. And we'll see you over there.